Hello, we are Alexandra and Ralph. As designer and engineer, we are the team behind the brand Ars Machine. We would like to introduce you the M1 and BM1 record players. First, let me explain the innovations of the turntable. The platter bearing has all the advantages of an inverted bearing. However, our innovative design avoids the disadvantage of an inverted bearing. The oil does not run out of the bearing. In addition, we have provided the bearing with a non-contact seal. Through this measure and materials, such as high-performance ceramics and graphite, a long service life is guaranteed. The platter is a sandwich of seven parts with different natural frequencies. This already causes a very good vibration control. We were not yet satisfied with this. We wanted to improve the state of the art. The parts of the platter are screwed together in a clever way. This solution can increase the stiffness and internal damping of the platter. This leads to an improved vibration control. Therefore, the platter of the M1 has the most neutral sound possible. From the outside, the Ars M1 is in record weight, but its secret is inside. We developed this together with the University of Bayreuth. We are very proud of this invention. The invention is a new method for vibration damping. We are the first to use very fine powder for vibration damping. Due to the friction between the many particles, a great deal of vibration energy is rendered harmless. The use of tungsten powder increases this effect to the maximum possible. To protect the M1 turntable from vibrations from the rack, we developed the BM1. The BM1 combines the M1 with a base developed just for the M1. In the base, we have combined the techniques from the platter and the record weight. Powder dampers are located under the setting surfaces as in the record weight. The layers of the base are screwed together in the same way as the platter of the M1. We have spared no effort to develop a turntable that meets the very highest standards. Now I would like to explain some innovative details of our tone arm. The closer a component is to the record and the cartridge, the greater its influence on the sound quality. That's why we put a lot of thought into the design of the platter and the headshell. Almost all common headshells are designed as thin discs. A conventional solution to increase stiffness would lead to a significant increase in the effective mass of the tone arm. Therefore, we moved to connection of the headshell and the tone arm tube to the area above the cartridge. This made the headshell stiffer without adding mass. In addition, the friction in this connection dampens vibrations of all frequencies. At the same time, we moved the fingertip to the rear to reduce the influence of this structure. The area on the cartridge is designed to provide maximum vibration control. The supporting part of the arm tube is made of carbon fiber, which has low weight and high stiffness. We combine this tube with a tube made of wood. In this way, we achieve an additional reduction in vibrations. On the one hand, the wooden tube and the carbon fiber tube have different natural frequencies. Secondly, the two tubes are connected to each other in such a way that the friction between them is maximized. The choice of materials, the different natural frequencies and the damping friction result in maximum vibration control. The tone arm has a classic unique period bearing, but without the disadvantage of a unique period bearing. It is stabilized so that it can be operated without wobbling. In this picture you see a photo of the opened tone arm bearing and a sectional drawing. I would like to explain to you how the stabilization works. The freestanding black part is a cylinder made of bearing material. The hardened bearing cup is located in this cylinder. The moving part of the tone arm bearing sit in the bearing housing. Inside the housing 
is a bearing tip made of tungsten carbide. A guide plate is rotatably mounted on it, in which a groove is milled. The flanks of the groove are supported laterally on the black cylinder. This support prevents the tone arm from tilting. The tone arm has a very comfortable VTA adjustment. In the first step you can bring the cartridge sensitively into the horizontal position. After that you can adjust the VTA by ear during playback. Ask a friend to adjust the VTA of the tone arm while you listen to a record. This way you can hear exactly at which setting the sound is best. For the following reasons we have omitted an anti-skate correction. The skating force is lower on a 12.2 inch tone arm. The skating force depends on the music signal or the modulation of the groove. An anti-skate correction is set to a constant value. If the music becomes quieter, for example, the anti-skate correction is too strong. Here a variable force is compensated with a constant force. We therefore consider anti-skate correction to be not very effective. The most important reason for us not to use anti-skate correction is the following. All anti-skate devices form strongly vibrating systems. And our most important goal is to avoid vibrations, because vibrations affect the sound quality. We believe that the disadvantages of anti-skate corrections outweigh their advantages if you want to achieve maximum sound quality.